Hey YouTube, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a portable um, USB web server such that you can always copy your files and work on your server anywhere you may be. So um, this is what I'm practically going to do. I'm going to download the server. And now you just go to Google, type USB web server and then you're going to see the link here, USB web server.net. You click on it and then you download. Download it to your computer. So you just click on download and there you have it. So the essence of the USB web server is that you can always have your server, or like ZAMP, WAMP, a map. You have to install them, else you won't um the they won't work for you. So let's just take a quick a quick look at how how it works yeah i've already downloaded mine to my computer so it's on my desktop here i'm going to create a new folder here and i'm just going to call it server or you can give it any name you want and then you extract the files into the folder so I'm going to assume this folder is my USB, is my flash drive. So I'm just going to extract all of this to a folder in my flash drive. And then, yeah, that's, that's it. Once it's done, you can close. And then you open the web server. You open the folder. And then you can see um, the, the setup here. You double click on it. And then it, it opens it opens up here yeah, and it hacks you for some some sort of um security stuff so you just click on allow um yeah and that's all so here you can select your language i'm just going to select english and then i add down to settings i make sure i change my aperture port to 80 but you can give it any number whatsoever but it's better you 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 give it 80 so that it just automatically um, comes up without adding the port extension but let me show you let me show you if the reason why you need to make it 80 i'm just going to go to my um my browser now and i'll type local host yeah you can see that it's 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 just not going to respond but when i add the port which is 8080 yeah it gives me it, it comes up but let, let's remove the 80 80 so that it just goes ordinarily like that then i click on save yeah and i have to restart my my server again go back to my folder and i click on it again and then yeah we just wait for it for this show green here and, and that's it so i go back if i refresh it's not going to work because i've removed the um the port so once i do local host it comes up so you might want to have it that way and then um coming to your server your server has all the things you you need so this is the folder my root is where i put up all of my um project here's where i create every for a new folder for my project and put my stuffs onto it then here is your php your php my admin if you need to do any settings on your php um say for example you need to increase your upload size and all of that it's it's right in inside inside all of this place so you can always do your settings here so this is the php my admin um sorry the um init file the um configuration settings I'm just going to open with um, sublime text now yeah oh, sorry what's that so here I have it so here you can then do all your settings um, but these are the major settings you need to do um, display error has to be turned off um, if you want to and there's so many other settings you could you could also also do so I'm going to add on to my browser now and do localhost slash php my admin. Yeah, so it opens up your php my admin. 
look down to this place you can see um, your username and your password for your my SQL um, login um, for the PHP my admin login so I'm just going to put that and then it opens up and I can start creating my my database so portable web server is the way to go so that you can always have your project on your flash drive and you can use it on any Windows computer so I hope that helps please subscribe to my youtube channel and um, you get more interesting more videos coming soon